Okay, now that we have our user accounts taken care of, let's go ahead and download WordNet. And I'm going to search for MySQL WordNet. And then take the second link, which is WNSQLSourceForge.net. Go to the download link. And then we want the latest version, which is WordNet SQL 3. Click on the MySQL folder. 3.1 is the current version. And then you want this uh, this one right here, this uh, WordNet 3.1-.zip. This one's XML, so we don't want that. We want this one. And then that'll start downloading in a few seconds. Okay, so that's downloaded. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, right-click on that, say Extract All, download to the default folder. Okay, so now I have a MySQL folder. You'll notice there's this restore-mysql.bat file. That's what you run on Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, you can run this restore-mysql.shell file. And uh, I want to do one other thing before I'm ready to run this. So if I type command and I type mysql, I get unrecognized command. So what I want to do is add a path to the folder where mysql lives. So um, I'm going to go to that folder, and it's in c colon zamp, and then there's a MySQL folder here, and then bin, and that's where the MySQL executable lives. So I'm going to right-click on that, select Properties, and then copy the path to MySQL, which is c zamp MySQL bin. So I've just copied that. Then I'm going to go right-click on my computer, select Properties, Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, and then I want to edit the path, which is right here. And then at the very end, I'm going to add a semicolon and then paste in the path to MySQL.exe. So say OK, and OK, and then close that out. Now, that won't affect the command shell that I already opened. That still gives me an error if I try to run MySQL. But if I close this and start a new command shell, now if I type MySQL, it works. So it ran the executable that I got access denied, which is fine. So now I can change directory to c colon backslash users mark downloads MySQL, and then I can run the restore script, restore mysql.bat. And it's going to enter me, ask me for database name, WordNet, and then I have to type my root password in clear text, so I'll blank that out, but, um, but be aware of that. And uh, that means it's working. So it's uh, giving me warnings about password on command line not being secure, which I knew. Um, but it's creating the WordNet database and loading schemas and doing fun stuff. And this will take a few minutes. OK, so that took a few minutes. Um, don't worry if you see a bunch of errors popping up. That's normal for the install here. And uh, if it got to the end, then you're in good shape. And I'm going to return back to phpMyAdmin and go to Databases. And I should see a WordNet database here. And here's all the tables I get. So, for example, in uh, Words, if you browse, Here's the first 25 words from the words table. So this all looks good so far. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to give permission to our WordNet user 
to access this data. So I'm going to go back to the server, users, and then next to WordNet Edit Privileges. And then I'm going to click on this database button here and add privileges on the following database WordNet. And then I'm only going to give it select access. So that means it can read information from the database, but it can't really do anything else. So pretty minimal. And say go. So now I have a WordNet user that can look at data in the WordNet database. And uh, in the next step, we'll actually make sure the PHP part is working.